Hey, Rick McAvoy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week on my YouTube channel, I am talking about the blog post titled Construction Photography Advice and Guidelines for Clients. I've recently posted examples of my construction photography work in Dorset and also in Hampshire. I've written quite a lot of articles about construction photography, but um, I wanted to finish off this little series with um, with some advice for clients, really, on um, not only construction photography, but how photography can help in the construction process. I'm a chartered builder. I'm a professionally qualified photographer, so I feel that I'm perfectly placed to advise clients on construction photography. In the post, published on Monday, just click on it, I just realised there's no feature image. Um, I go through pretty much everything that you need to know as a client. And when I say client in the construction field, you could be somebody paying to have a new building built, a main contractor, a subcontractor, a material supplier, a consultant, anybody really in the construction process who wants some photographs for their own commercial uses. So hopefully this article will be of interest to you. No photos in this article, but at the end I do link back to the 51 construction photos in Dorset and the 73 construction photos in Hampshire. You'll also find that my Work With Me page has been updated because um, in the post I write about how you select a photographer to photograph your construction site. And one of the things I said there was check out the photographer's website. They should have photos of construction sites on there. I went to my website, checked out my Work With Me page and there weren't any. So um, quick dive into Lightroom. I dug out six construction photos and... Um, I've rejigged that work with me page, so you can check that one out, rickmacavoyphotography.com forward slash architectural photographer. Yeah, no, it doesn't really make sense, but um, you get the idea. So what else do we talk about in this post? I've defined what a client is. I think one of the starting questions is, is architectural photography the same as construction photography? Um, it doesn't greatly matter, you want photos of your building in whatever state it is, whatever part of the construction process. But the point is that architectural photography for me tends to be photographs of a finished project, a finished building. It's showing the architecture as designed by the architect, as intended, as it's been re completed. Construction photography, on the other hand, can be anywhere in the construction process. When I go through these, um, don't hire a wedding photographer. Sorry, I need to draw that one to your attention. Uh, I'm not a wedding photographer. I have nothing against wedding photographers. But don't hire me to do your wedding, because I'll be rubbish. And don't hire a wedding photographer to photograph your building site. Now, I'm not saying that a wedding photographer wouldn't be perfectly capable of doing it, but you wouldn't hire an electrician to do your plumbing, would you? You get the point. Um, yeah, construction photography could be um, in the planning, feasibility, design, pre-construction, site phase, completion, refurbishment, demolition. For me, construction photography is all the phases of the construction process. Architectural photography, rightly or wrongly in my opinion, is the finished product. Are there professional qualifications for construction photographers? Not really. Um, I'm an ABIPP, that's an associate of the British Institute of Professional Photography. I'm also an MCIOB, which is a member of the Chartered Institute of Buildings, so you could say that I'm qualified to photograph buildings. Um, but there's a list of professional photography organisations there which I've given, which you can have a look at. Uh, this post isn't about hire me to photograph your construction site. It's not intended for that purpose. And as I explain in the should I use a local photographer section of the post, I think you should use a local photographer. So I'm excluding myself from probably 75% of the UK because it's too far away. Um, anyway, there's plenty more information in there. Hopefully it's helpful. And at the end of the post, like I said, there are links to um, two blog posts where I've got a range of construction photos which are hopefully of interest and um, demonstrate what I can do. 
that's it for this little series of posts. Apart from next week, I am expanding the subject. I've given the advice for clients. Next week's post, which I started writing, is titled How to Become a Construction Photographer. And that one will have one more after it, which is about construction product photography. And then I'm going to move on to something even more gritty, industrial and engineering photography. Thank you for watching my blog. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would say please subscribe to my blog, but I haven't worked out how to get the subscribe box on my blog yet. So I'm um, work in progress, but I'm getting there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with another video on my YouTube channel, Rick McAvoy Photography. Bye for now.